Uh, today we're going to have to unload the 25,000 gallon because because of the wells, of course, but also primarily because of the growing arapaima that are over three feet now at one year and four months old. Well, they're efficient predators, so uh, Masir, the smaller Masir evade Mr. Wells just fine, but they will not be able to cope with the arapaima. Neither would the big-eyed tarpon, I mean the freshwater tarpon, and some of the smaller koi. So I'm gonna have to go inside and take him out, put him in different tanks. The bigger koi I'm gonna leave in there for now. Other than the masir and the tarpon, like this koi, the shusui with orange flanks, it's probably too small. I'm always worried about him. Uh, the uh, African uh, giraffe nose catfish, we're gonna live in there for now. I'm not sure about the Vulture catfish. I mean, they also worry me a little bit. They're not that big. And I hope Arapaima doesn't think of gulping them, but when Arapaima grows another foot or two, I'm gonna have to take him out anyway. So maybe we'll take him out right now. Because we will have to do it soon anyway. Doesn't make sense to keep waiting. Okay. All right, we're gonna start taking them out and then we're gonna film them when we put them in their respective tanks a little later. Pudutora, the Himalayan Masir, Golden Masir, I was hunting for half an hour. It was a test of endurance for wins. I barely won. Okay, we're finished with catching everybody. There's a few koi that are a little smaller left in there, but I got real cold. It took me about two hours to catch everybody. So maybe some other time. It's a little murky because I stirred it up. My seer are incredibly hard to catch. They're so agile and so smart. Very, very hard to catch. I was catching some of them for half an hour, chasing them around with two nets 
while in each hand. Anyhow, so what do we have here? The golden masseur, smallest one of the three we have, one in here. Um, Thor Udri, supposedly, also one of the smallest one in here. In the 1800 gallon, and also the biggest uh, freshwater tarpon or in the Pacific tarpon is in here, also, right here. You can compare with the youngsters. Okay, uh, the Topper de Tora, the Golden Masseer, took me half an hour to catch. There was something. Okay, we went in here. The two, the two uh, vulture catfish, two red masseer, and one Chinese masseer went in here. This is old masseer, used to be here. This is Saroidus, but I have my doubts. Looks like Thai rose or whatever they call them. Doronensis. This Chinese with a dark stripe along the lateral line, and two of the reds are here also. Hopefully they'll be alright in here. I was thinking where to put the swallow must here. I, I thought maybe here, but then I decided against it because of the Piraiba. One of the golden masseer by the top, and that's below, towards the back, is the other one. I mean, the red masseer. Did I say golden? I'm sorry, red. I meant red. Tortumbra. They're not really red, just a tiny hue of redness in them. I don't know what it takes to make them bright red. I mean, I know in theory, but I never was able to pursue it feeding them special foods with red pigment in them some kind of flower buds, I don't know and uh, I think one or two koi went into the th temporary 300 gallon tank for them until we rehome them or or build the koi pond which is in the plans you're not gonna be able to see anything in there it's too dark okay so that's our little activity report for today March 13th 2024